Hey, good Wednesday afternoon, and welcome to the Health Hour right here on Long Star Community Radio. I'm Mike Sasser, your host, and we're coming to you live from downtown Conroe today. And uh, I'd like to welcome you to the show. I'd like to say that it's an hour of health news you can use. There's always ways that you can be part of the show today, and uh, probably one of the easiest ways is to go to my website. It's uh, www.mikesasser.com, and click on my Contact Mike page, and when you go there, you'll find my email address, you'll find my Facebook, my uh, Twitter link, so you can tweet me, and uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, about the show, um, feel free to, to get in touch with me. And um, also, if you'd be interested in sponsoring the show, you can contact myself uh, through that or here at the radio station. And um, there's a call-in number, by the way, too. It's 936-647-3776, and that's a direct line into Long Star Radio here. Um, so, hey, um, I want to tell you, uh, or, or actually, um, you know, many times I talk about... Uh, uh, you know, health news and, and uh, um, things like that. But uh, we have had a uh, historic flood once again here in the Houston and, and even uh, Montgomery County area. And uh, it's still raining in some places today. The rain is still falling. So I thought that I would uh, start the show by uh, sharing a little bit of, of, of uh, flood safety tips that, that I looked up on the internet, as well as I've been watching a lot of the, the newscast uh, over the last couple of days, and, um, uh, you know, it's just uh, just a bad thing out there. I um, I checked, and, you know, I, last I heard, it was about 17 inches of rain that had fallen in some places, and then you have all this rain that has fallen north of Houston and, and into Montgomery County and, and uh, uh, southeast Texas, for that matter. And so all this water has to go somewhere. Uh, a lot of the bayous are full, and and um, it's just a, a bad situation there. Was a lot of the highways were shut down on Monday, and the latest death toll that I uh, – that I come across just uh, this morning, uh, they are saying that uh, there's eight uh, confirmed deaths due to floodwaters and, uh, in southeast Texas. And many of these were people in their cars and, and entering, into, entering into the water, uh, trying to drive through high water. So uh, first off, that is, uh, you know, the biggest thing is, is the, you've heard of the saying by now, I'm sure, it says, you know, turn around, don't drown. Don't take a chance on driving through uh, moving water. And um, I read here that as little as six inches of moving water uh, can can make you fall down. And, um, uh, you know, anything higher than that, well, you know, it, you, you, you see cars uh, floating down the road. And, and uh, um, I mean, there was cars that were, were up to the rooftops in, in water. So uh, a pretty dramatic rescue, matter of fact, on one of the newscasts that uh, the, the, the reporter himself uh, talked a guy out of the car and uh, waded into the water and helped him out of the water while on live TV. So it's just been, uh, it's really been pretty dramatic around around the Houston area here lately. Um, just a couple other things that, uh, you know, if you, if you don't have to get in the flood water, uh, don't. Um, think about it, you know, you have all the cars and, and uh, you have oil and, and uh, you know, trash and and things like that, and uh, probably some chemicals that are in that flood water that you know you really don't want to get into unless you have to. And uh, and then on top of that, uh, you know, it not only floods out all of us, uh, all of us people, but all the critters, you know, all the animals and things. Uh, they are also flooded out. And uh, many times, I know you've probably seen it before, but you know, ants uh, will be in the water. They actually kind of somehow, some way, they build their mounds on on the water and stuff i've seen those things floating around uh at, you know as well as snakes and and uh, like i said uh the, the critters or they are they are flooded out of their homes as well so lots of things to be uh be careful of there and uh you know if you do have to get in the water you know you know uh, do your best to, to to clean up as soon as possible uh uh you know things that have been flooded that have been um 
had this water, this this muddy water, uh, contaminated possibly uh, water, you know, clean it up, disinfect it, and, uh, you know, you're already beginning to see a lot of people uh, ripping the carpet out of their homes and, and things like that. So it's just, um, you know, it's just a, a sad thing. And, and just one other thing I wanted to touch on is, uh, you know, if, if you can help, uh, you know, these, these are our neighbors here uh, in the community, and if you can help, there's a, there's a couple of ways. Uh, Gulf Coast uh, Red Cross, you can, you can, you know, donate to them. Uh, these people are going to, some people are going to need um, practically everything. Uh, some of them are just completely flooded out of their homes. Uh, so, the, you know, the, the, the uh, redcross.org, you can, you can donate that way. And then also our good friends at the food bank, um, both uh, the Houston Food Bank or Montgomery County Food Bank, uh, you know, uh, they assist in these type of things in helping people get meals and uh, keeping people fed during these tough times so keep these people in your uh, in your thoughts in your prayers and uh hopefully this rain will get out of here and we'll get back to some sunshiny days so um just uh, you know just wanted to kind of touch on that and uh what i have for you today in in today's show uh, a couple of things i wanted to uh, you know it, it is springtime and the the nice weather will return and um it's a great time to get out to the farmers markets so i wanted to uh, again talk about uh the local farmers markets and uh where they're located at the times they are and uh, and a little bit about that so we'll talk about the farmers markets and then i like to uh uh, again, this is Wednesday, and most of the grocery ads came out, so I like to kind of look through the grocery ads and see uh, what kind of healthy choices or uh, maybe on sale. And uh, again, springtime, there's a lot of you know produce that are in season right now, so you can really get some good buys on on produce. And then, uh, and then, speaking of produce, I'm going to talk about bananas, the benefits of bananas. I'm going to go. Uh, bananas for bananas and uh you know i i love bananas uh eat them uh, for breakfast uh for snacks things like that but i i began to think like i knew they had some nutritional value and were healthy for you but i looked it up and um man bananas is like one of the coolest you know foods they are number one is convenient you can, you can grab it and go and has a lot of health benefits so i'll be talking about that in the show and then uh, we'll get to the restaurant reports and that is where i take a look at the week's uh, health inspection reports from montgomery county and uh, we'll see who uh, what restaurants have been good and what restaurants maybe need a little work there so um that's what I've got coming up for you on the Health Hour today. And again, if you'd like to contact me, go to MikeSasser.com, my contact page, uh, hit me up on Facebook, email, or Twitter. And uh, as well as if you'd like to call in, the uh, radio station number here is 936-647-3776. So um, as they say, let's get on with the show. So um, looking at the, the local farmers markets, uh, this is one that is, that's pretty popular, and uh, it's, it's, it's there in the Woodlands area. And this is the Woodlands uh, Grogan's Mill uh, Farmers Market. And um, you, can, you can learn more about this by going to www.grogansmillvillage.com, and you'll see the, the link there uh, for the farmers market. And uh, these are held every Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. And, um, you know, if you're not real uh, familiar with Farmer's Market, uh, it's, it's a great place to find, uh, you know, not only local produce, but, but many vendors uh, come out from the community. They have, uh, you know, I mean, I've, I've seen like um, uh, candles. I've seen uh, just, uh, you know, all, arts, crafts, uh, all types of things that, that, uh, local vendors come out and, uh, sit up, uh, and, and display and, and, and people, uh, you know, people come out and, and look at it and, 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 and support them and buy it. Um, so, uh, uh and, and you know, the other thing that's really cool about Grogan's Mill is, is you can go on that website and uh, you can you can sign up. It's really nothing more. You just put an email address in there, and um, every Friday they will send you an email and let you know what uh, what vendors are going to be there the you know that Saturday morning that the next morning. 
So uh, that is pretty cool as well. I get those. I signed up for it myself. So every Friday, uh, Friday afternoon, I guess, it, my, my email comes in and and um, I take a look and see if there's something I'm interested in and and uh, and go check them out. So that, like I said, that's a uh, that's a good one. And uh, it's there uh, at Grogan's Mill. Um, the actual, let's see, the actual address is, uh, where is it, Saturdays? Uh, it's 8 till noon, and it's at Grogan's Mill Village Center, the corner of Grogan's Mill Road and South Mill Bend um, there in the Woodlands. So um, that's a good one to go to. And, uh, and then Conroe Saturday AM Market. Uh, that one is held on Saturdays as well. That's 9 to 1 p.m., and it's in the uh, jury parking lot. That's uh, here downtown in Conroe. It's uh, 135 North Main Street, and... Um, Again, they have, you know, they have uh, uh, vegetables, um, produce, uh, honey, uh, eggs, jelly, and, 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 you know, many other things that local vendors put out there. And uh, if you'd like to know more about that one, I have a phone number for you. You can contact them at 936-718-2554. And, um, you know, check. And uh, number one, you might want to check, especially with this, uh, with this, you know, this flood situation. Uh, it may be a good idea to to call and, and make sure they're still having the uh, the the farmers market on Saturday. Uh, that that goes without saying, I, I guess, probably for for um, you know for all the farmers markets there. Um, and then the next one, uh, this one is a uh, held in in the town of Willis, which is just a little bit north of where we're at right now, and it's the Montgomery County Market Days. Uh, this one is located on um, uh, County Milling uh, Company. Uh, I tell you what, it's located at 101 South Bell Street in Willis, Texas. And uh, this one is held um, around a year, monthly, and it's the first Fridays from 2 to 7 p.m. during the summer. Um, I'm not sure if we'd be considered in the summer yet or not. Now the daylight savings time has come around. You know, we have the, the, the daylight uh, later, so they might be uh, uh, doing the summer hours. But uh, if it's not, then the uh, it's also on Fridays. In the winter months, they have listed at 1 to 6 p.m. Um, here's a phone number you could call and, and uh, get more information on that and find out exactly what the hours are. Uh, that phone number to them is 936 856 Two two five one, and that's the Montgomery County Market Days uh, held there in Willis. So there's uh, there's three really good farmers markets in uh, in the area. Um, like I said, support the local people. Uh, the, you know, you can get some great produce there. Uh, you know, for for people who are, are really looking for organic, uh, you know, homegrown type type. Uh, vegetables and 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 things uh great place farmer's market is a great place to go and you can usually you know find some pretty good bargains there as well um one other thing i want to share with you about farmer's markets is there is a farmer's market directory uh believe it or not for for every state and um that's a it's a website and if you go to www.farmersmarketonline.com okay uh, it's going to uh, open up a, a, a home page, and you'll see all the states list listed there. And uh, you can click on, like for instance, the Texas link, and it will literally show bring up uh, every city and uh, uh, show uh, area farmers markets that that are available. And uh, you can find out what time they are and, and where they are. So let's say you're traveling out on the road, and you think uh, you know you're out there on a the weekend and want to check out some local local uh, arts and crafts or, or produce in, in the area that you're at, um, hey, that's a, that's a great source to, to find it out there. So, uh, uh, again, that website is uh, www.farmersmarketonline.com. And uh, hey, we're going to take our first break here. And um, if you would, just come on back and, and uh, get a little bit more of the Health Hour. Hey, this is Cindy Cochran. And now Conroe can boast of another first. The first morning live talk show, 10 to 11 a.m., Monday through Friday, right here on Lone Star Internet Radio, coming straight out of the fabulous downtown Conroe, Texas. Be the coolest guy at the water cooler or the most informed break room dweller by listening to the fun side of the news, local, national, infinity, and beyond. The Cindy Cochran Show, you ain't heard nothing yet. 
at Jazzy Junk, volunteers reclaim, restore, and recycle. Jazzy Junk is a nonprofit resale storefront where you will discover wonderful, unique finds at very affordable prices on furniture, antiques, books, art, home decor, and more. When you shop Jazzy Junk, you support New Danville, a community for adults with developmental disabilities. We receive new donations daily, so plan a visit to Jazzy Junk today to find that perfect item or gift. Our motto is here today, gone today. So remember to hurry in and shop often for the best selection. Jazzy Junk is located in the outlets at Conroe on League Line Road and I-45 North. Call 936-441-4500 or visit our website jazzyjunk.org. That's J-U-N-Q-U-E for more information and store hours. The East Texas Dream Center is in need of your help. We are a nonprofit Christian organization that houses women and children who are trying to get their lives back after being homeless, abused, or addicted. We are conveniently located at 301 South First Street, Conroe, Texas, 77301, right here in Montgomery County. Our needs are financial and every needs of gasoline, cleaning supplies, laundry soap, Lysol, and whatever else God puts in your heart. To help our ladies and children, please consider a donation. You may visit our website at www.easttexasdreamcenter.org. Again, so you don't forget, it's www.easttexasdreamcenter.org. Donations are tax deductible. Remember what Jesus said, with God, nothing is impossible. Did you know there are more than 790 abused and neglected children currently in foster care in Montgomery County? Will you help make a difference? I'm Allie Stevens with Costa Child Advocates of Montgomery County. We train and support volunteers to be the voice of children in the foster care system. Kids are moved from their home because of abuse and neglect, and we need volunteers just like you to advocate for these children. To learn more about becoming an advocate, please visit costaspeaksforkids.com. That's costaspeaksforkids.com. All right, welcome back to the Health Hour. I'm Mike Sasser, your host, and this is a live show coming to you every Wednesday at 1 p.m. And in case you miss the live shows, just want to let you know that the podcast, the the uh, the other shows that we've done in the past, is uh, uh, you can find those on Longstar uh, Community Radio. That's www.irlongstar.com. Or I also post those on my website as www.mikesasser.com. And um, you, can, uh, you can listen to the shows just... You know, anytime, day, night. Uh, uh, what's really cool about this is, I, I just did this this past weekend, but um, they're uh, they're on uh, YouTube as well. And I was sitting there at uh, at a friend of mine's uh, house and pulled up YouTube on the TV, and uh, boom, there it is. The the Long Star uh, Mike Sasser um, Health Hour is right there on YouTube. So you can uh, you can listen to it if you have all of that on your TV. You know, YouTube or. Uh, uh, you know, it, uh, pull up the internet on, on your TV. Nowadays, these TVs can do almost anything. And, um, you, so you can catch it right there. So, uh, you can listen to the health hour, um, you know, like I said, middle of the night in your pajamas, uh, just anytime. And, uh, those podcasts are, are available and, and, uh, there forever. So, uh, great place to, uh, to listen to the, listen to the program. Um, and, and all the other programs that are on, uh, here on Long Star Internet Radio. Um, but uh, getting back to today's show, um, by the way, again, I always like to let you know, you can contact me with any questions or comments you may have about the show. Uh, easiest, simplest way to do it, you can do it on your phone or any kind of mobile device. Hey, if you're sitting at work and you you know you got your computer in front of you there, uh, uh, go to MikeSasser.com, click on my uh, Contact Mike link, and right there, you'll find my email address. You'll find my Twitter account and my Facebook. And all of these are links. Like, all you got to do is just click on it and zoom. It, it, it'll go right there. Tech, technology is just, technology is really cool nowadays. So, uh, so anyway, uh, appreciate you listening to the Health Hour. And I'm going to get back to uh, what we do here. And uh, on Wednesdays, I like to, to look through the grocery store ads. Uh, if you didn't know this, many, many people do, but you may not know. But uh, every Wednesday, uh, most grocery stores, including your, your, your local community grocery stores, they will put out their sales papers or sales ads for, you know, for the upcoming week. And that'll come out on Wednesday, so uh, you can you know look through those and and uh, see what's on sale. And 
I always like to look at, uh, you know, uh, especially the, you know, again, the produce and, and, and kind of the the healthy type choices there and, and maybe point some out to you. And I, um, I passed through Kroger's this morning and uh, just a couple of things that uh, that I found here was, um, you know, like your, your greens, your spinach, your the, the salad mixes, um, things like that. Uh, they have those on sale. Um, they usually come in those plastic tub kind of things, you know. Um, I, I was looking at those, and, and uh, they have they have two for six dollars. Uh, but I was going to say they're usually around three, four dollars or so, um, you know, per container, and um, they're already you know kind of cut and that type of stuff. And uh, it's it's not a bad way to go, uh, especially when you when you factor in the convenience uh, of that, if you will. Um, but you know, if you're looking for a, a little bit less expensive alternative, and um, you know, this is this is something that I, I pointed out in my book. Uh, by the way, I guess that's I, I might have should have told you in the beginning of the show, but that's that's how I got here on the Health Hour. Is I, I I'm a local author, live here on Lake Conroe, and uh, I, I wrote a book called Simple, Inexpensive, and Painless Weight Loss, and it's uh it's my true story of of uh, losing weight, but more importantly, maintaining that weight loss. And uh, so I just, you know, I, I was able to do it and, and have been successful at it. Uh, so I wrote a book about it, and I put a lot of this stuff in there. But, um, uh, you know, getting back to the theme of the book, you know, simple and inexpensive, um, you know, like I said, these, you know, greens and salads and stuff like that, you know, 3 $4 uh, per container. Um, again, you're kind of paying for that convenience factor. What I've, what I've done and what I've learned here really just recently is, uh, you know, you can get, you can get the, uh, the bundles of, uh, uh, I just, I, I pick spinach because I love spinach. I really do. Uh, but I, you know, you can get a bundle of, of fresh spinach and I, and I checked the price today and it was about a dollar 60. Uh, and it's a good size bundle, you know, good hand size bundle of spinach, um, uh, it still has the stems of things on it like that, so it's you know it's it's it's, uh, it's kind of raw, if you will, but you can save some money. And and what I do is you know when I get it home, I I, I wash it myself, you know, clean it, and then um, I will put it in a um, you know, like a Ziploc bag, uh, about a gallon size Ziploc bag. I hold it just fine, and uh, boom, right there, you've saved fifty percent on on your on on your on on my. Um, spinach uh and you can do that with you know they, they have romaine uh, uh lettuce uh just all types of uh, bundles of you know kind of raw lettuce if you will and I, I found that it's about half the price by by doing it like that so uh just a little tip there and and uh you know i i definitely uh am all about saving money when especially when it comes to food dollars i used to travel quite a bit and i, I found myself throwing away a lot of produce and stuff and uh I talk about it quite often, but uh, when it comes to vegetables and even some uh, some fruits, uh, you know, you can get the the, the frozen uh, go to the frozen food section, and that way, you know, you, you have them in your freezer. They're 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 convenient. They're available uh, many times. You, you, know, you don't have to worry so much about spoilage because um, you know you're not you're not you're not steaming them or or using them until until you're ready to uh, ready to eat them. And um, I found that that's a real good way to do it. And uh, Kroger's also has, and this is a kind of a seasonal thing, but uh, or organic uh, navel oranges um, are on sale there as well. And um, you know those are uh, those are a, a, a great source of vitamin C and um, just you know, refreshing. On on um, uh, we're, you know, we're getting to these hot summer days and uh, just right around the corner. So you know. Good orange, that 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 goes well. Uh, the other thing that um, that I like is uh, is uh, berries, uh, strawberries, blueberries, uh, raspberries, blackberries, and um, the main thing is uh, all of these berries contain uh, antioxidants that are, are really really good for you. And um, you know, I look for those on sale. You can find those. Uh, many times this time of year, again spring, a, a lot of these a lot of these berries are coming into season. You can catch them on sale. Strawberries, um, I found some blackberries on sale uh, about a week ago. That was uh, I mean, it was under a dollar, like eighty eight cents for a little pack of blackberries and stuff. Um, you know, you can use these 
you can use these berries to to uh, mix in uh, with plain yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, and uh, again cut down on the amount of sugar. If you uh, if you look at if you look at uh, yogurt that is already pre mixed with with uh, with fruits in it, you're going to find that they have a uh, uh, quite a bit of sugar in them. And um, you know the more that you the more that you prepare at home, the more that the more that you uh, are able to cook and, and, and prepare your food at home, the better you can control, you know, the, the ingredients, uh, the amounts of uh, sugar, the amounts of sodium that's in your foods. And um, uh, if, you've, if, you've, if you've listened to any of my, my shows before, uh, those are the two biggest things that are, that are in our foods nowadays that, that really, I believe, cause a lot of the health issues, uh, hypertension, and uh, heart disease and, and everything else. And there's a lot of studies out there that that uh, that backs that up. Um, so uh, again, looking through uh, looking through the the Kroger's ad here, um, you know, I also like to look at the uh, the meat counter, if you will, and um, uh, you can find things like, uh, uh, for instance, uh, center cut pork loin chops. And uh, you know, this is a you know. Pork kind of sometimes gets gets a bad rap, but you know they 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 call it the the you know the other white meat because chicken is 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 just daunt you know the the thing that most everybody eats and stuff. But uh, pork actually has some good benefits uh, as well, uh, like uh, iron content. Um, you know, because uh, protein. I'll tell you a little bit about protein. Is uh, it, it, it takes your body more to digest it, and so therefore you you're actually burning a little more energy uh when when your body is is metabolizing uh protein and um and i recommend i've read a lot of studies that recommend uh, having a some type of protein just about with every meal that you eat and um you know that doesn't mean eating red meats at every meal or it doesn't eat, mean eating chicken at every meal uh, proteins can be found in in uh, you know beans black beans is one of my favorites uh, but uh, you know, kidney beans, black beans, um, all of that type of stuff, uh, nuts, um, cashews, uh, peanuts, you know, and again, all of these are are, are pretty quick, simple, um, convenient type foods that uh, that you can eat and stuff. So, uh, like I said, you can you can really find uh, quite a bit of stuff by looking through the ads. And um, uh, you can pick up the, the the paper ads. Usually, they're right in the the front of the store, pretty close to the to the door. Um, if you're at home and you know you you, you you love the internet like myself, it's real easy to pull up these ads, uh, weekly ads on on the uh, grocery store uh, websites, and they have all that out there and stuff. So. Like I said, take a look at uh, at your weekly grocery ads, and um, just another little tip about uh, while, while we're on the grocery store uh, subject here is uh, I have also found it is best to to make a list before you go to the grocery store. Uh, so you know, uh, do your homework. It might take take a few minutes. You know, yes, it's going to take a little time, uh, a little a little prep time if you will but uh, do your homework look through the ads and uh, when you go to the grocery store then uh, number one it, it keeps you kind of on track if you will uh, because I'm gonna tell you, you, you if you go you, you know you don't have a list I've, I've done this you know many many times speaking from experience here but I don't have a list uh, might even be a little bit hungry uh, next thing you know I've got a buggy full of stuff you know and uh, um, so I, I've learned to make a list, stick to my list, and um, number one, again, save some money when it comes to food dollars, and it keeps me on more of a, a healthy track. You know, I uh, my list of food is usually going to be uh, pretty healthy, uh, you know, as best I can, and so if I stick with my list that I've made, now um, when I get to the checkout counter, I, I should have a a basket full of pretty much healthy healthy choices and stuff there so so take a look at the uh, grocery store ads uh, like i said online uh, if you're stopping in the store they're usually right there in the, in the front of the store uh, great source of information and uh, a way to, to to stay healthy stay fit as well as save a little money so we're going to take a break here coming up and uh, get back to the health hour just uh, shortly so stay tuned 
I'm Bonita DeRosa, Animal Control Officer for the City of Willis. We invite you to tune in to Lone Star Internet Radio every first and third Thursday of the month at 11 a.m. for the Willis Hour. On the first Thursday of the month, the Willis Hour will be covering upcoming events and news about the city. Join in the conversation with your city officials and other leaders in the community. On the third, we will be doing a recap of the last city council meeting. The mission of the City of Willis is to provide high quality services, accountability, and professional commitment to our citizens. We pledge to provide those who live, work, and visit our city an effective government that is open and responsive to the needs and values of the community. Again, we invite you to tune in on Lone Star Internet Radio every first and third Thursday of the month at 11 for the Willis Hour. If you are looking to start a career, you can start your professional life in the U.S. Army. I am Staff Sergeant Stephen Jackson. My fellow soldiers and I can talk with you about learning high-tech skills in electronics and computers as a soldier. Interested in the medical field? The Army has skilled medical and dental jobs that set you up for future success. Come visit us at 2109 West Davis Street, directly behind the Whataburger on Highway 105, or give us a call at 936-756-7002. Hi, this is BJ Orner from Montgomery County Performing Arts Society. I'm here to remind you to get your tickets now for all the upcoming events that McPass has to offer. All shows will be held at the beautiful Crichton Theater in downtown Conroe. Call 936-441-7469 for your tickets today. Or go to our website, www.mcpass.org, for more information. Hope to see you at the show. All right, welcome back to the Health Hour with Mike Sasser, and I am Mike Sasser, your host every week here at 1 o'clock, uh, 1 p.m. on Long Star Community Radio. We do this Health Hour show, and I'd like to say that it's an hour of health news that you can use, and it's also an hour of health news that you can get involved with. You can be part of the conversation, and you can do that by going to my website, which is www.mikesasser.com. Got a contact page there. Click on that, and it'll take you to my Facebook, take you to my email and Twitter links. Uh, all you got to do is click on those. You can be in touch with me, like, instantly. I mean, that's that's the beauty of technology nowadays. You can also uh, call in at the station here. That's 936-647-3776. And, uh, again, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. on Long Star Community Radio, tune in for a dose of the health hour. All right. Um, talking today, we, we talked a little about, uh, a little bit about farmers markets and, and, uh, local markets in, in town and, uh, just wrapped up with the uh, weekly grocery store ads, uh, some of the, uh, some of the healthy choices there. And if you happen to miss that, don't worry, we have the podcast. Okay. The podcast will usually be, uh, uh, put up on, uh, on the Long Star Community Radio website, uh, as well as my website, uh, within two or three days of the show. And, um, and so you can tune in there and watch it um, or, or actually listen to it. I, I said watch it because I talked about it. I, I, I watched my radio show on YouTube this past weekend. It was so cool. Uh, just, uh, you know, go to YouTube. Boom, it's there. You, you can actually search uh, The Health Hour with Mike Sasser on YouTube and, and it'll pop up. You can, you can also search on YouTube, uh, long star community radio, and uh, you can find that and you can find a lot you know, all the other great shows that are on, on the, on the radio station as well. So it's just, um, it's really a cool thing that, um, that, uh, that you can do there. So, so, uh, again, appreciate you listening to the show. Uh, Hey, if you'd like to advertise or sponsor the show, we, we we'll always like to talk to you about that as well. Uh, contact myself or our Long Star Radio here, and uh, we can uh, we can get you fixed up on that as well. Um, so, the next segment is uh, I have it called "Going Bananas for Bananas," and um, I tell you, you know, I I've been eating bananas all my life, and I, I was even kind of a, a, the the butt of a joke there, but uh, I do like banana sandwiches i i put this uh, put this recipe in my book um simple inexpensive painless weight loss but it's uh i ate, I ate a lot of half sandwiches 
and it's a very simple sandwich. It's literally you slice a banana, put it on a, uh, I use uh, whole wheat bread and uh, some uh, light mayo. Uh, usually it's the, the um, uh, olive oil uh, light mayo is some of the uh, lowest fat that I um, mayo that I found out there, but but anyway, I mean that's that's basically it, a banana sandwich, and and I've had some people give me some uh, <laughs> give me some slack about that, but but I enjoy it. Um, but you know, I eat bananas breakfast, uh, snacks, and and I, uh, so I got to thinking. I'm like, well, you know, I know uh, everybody always, you know, you've heard that they have potassium, and uh, and, uh, and and that's true, but I began to wonder, like, well, what else do bananas have? And uh, I was blown away. I mean, bananas are really like a superfood. They're they're super healthy. And um, you know, this this article that I pulled up, uh, it, it says, you know, what if I were to tell you that uh, there is a tool that you can use to reduce bloat, fight cancer, and increase your energy, all for just around the average price of about nineteen cents. And uh, and it comes with its very own carrying case. And we're talking about bananas. So uh, let me give you some of these uh, benefits of, of eating bananas that I really was not aware of. It says that bananas have 12 uh, uh, milligrams of fat, fat blasting B, vitamin B, uh, and it says it acts directly on the genes that cause fat storage in the, in the stomach. And, um, you know, I, I'm not thinking like, man, I should just eat nothing but bananas. <laughs> But um, so that's that's one. Then uh, it also says that, you know, if you like to smile, bananas may help you smile. And uh, no, we're not talking about cleaning your teeth with bananas or anything like that. But uh, it has a uh, also contains a vitamin that is B9 and it's a nutrient that may help fight depression. And um, so, you know, who knew? Who knew that a banana might uh, make you have a have a better day? So it might be a good idea to start your day with a with a banana and, and uh, for breakfast and uh, and uh, maybe even a snack that that mid afternoon snack, if you will. So um, and then uh, now this is one that I did know about, and that is you know after a workout, uh, after after walking, any type of exercise or activities where you've you know use some of your muscles and stuff, uh, it can it can definitely help with your um, uh, muscles not being so sore, and that's part of that potassium uh, coming in. It uh, it helps your muscles recover from that workout, and uh, it also uh, strengthens their development according to this uh, according to this report so um, that's pretty cool uh, something that I did not know about is uh, they can also be uh, used for keeping your blood sugar levels stable and this means that uh, consistent consistent energy level and weight loss so um, you know uh, uh, bananas man who you know who, who thought who thought um, eating bananas between meals uh, means less binging uh, you know, so uh, instead of instead of reaching for that that uh, that that Oreo cookie pack, you know, or uh, even, you know, even even some of these some of these these power bars, these uh, 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 nutrition bars, energy bars, if you will, uh, uh, yeah, just watch those things um, for, you know, read the label. Uh, I, I say that in my book. But read the label. Read every label on everything that you that you eat and consume, uh, because a lot of these energy bars have a pretty high amount of sugar in them. And uh, folks, if you don't know it, that is what is, I, I I believe, and a lot of studies uh, suggest that's making us obese. That's keeping us overweight. Keeping us from losing weight. Is there the, the sugar amounts in our food nowadays is so much. We're eating three, four times the amount of sugar that our body needs. And, you know, once our body reaches that amount that it needs, which uh, is, is around six uh, teaspoons or 25 grams of sugar per day, that's, that's a, a kind of a high tolerant level. Um, you know, it, all it knows to do is to store it. You drink one regular soda. And uh, it has enough sugar sometimes in it to, to, to give you more than a day's amount of sugar that your body needs. So just imagine if you're eating something else and it, and it, you know, it tacks on uh, more sugar. Well, that's, you know, boom, there it is right there. That's, that's, what's, um, that's what the problem is. 
So watch out for those, you know, those snacks, those, those, those uh, uh, energy bars, and, and hey, hey, have a banana, okay? Uh, got some more stuff here. Did you know that uh, it's also fairly high in fiber? This will help you stay regular. I'm just going to leave it at that. I think we all know, know what I'm talking about there, but uh, fiber, uh, you know, uh, can have can have up to three grams of fiber and uh, help. Uh, uh, that also helps the, the uh, reduce bloating as well. And um, the other thing is it's low sodium, high potassium intake. It's associated with low blood, uh, lowering lower uh, lowering blood pressure. Um, and uh, that is definitely a good thing. You know, uh, so many people are on uh, blood pressure medication. And, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not going to sit here and tell you, well, hey, stop taking your blood pressure medication and start eating bananas. But, um, you know, start finding foods, natural foods that have these type of, uh, these type of, of, of nutrients that, that helps your body. And, um, you know, a lot of times, especially high blood pressure, I I know this from experience again, is, uh, you know, due to uh, being overweight. And, uh, you know, if you can reduce your weight, get down to a a, a reasonable weight or a healthy weight, if you will. Uh, And many times, not all the time, and again, you want to talk to your doctor, talk to your physician about this. But many times you might can eliminate some of these medications uh, for these type of symptoms uh, through good natural foods and bananas seem to be one of them um one other deal here is uh that bananas have uh uh, vitamins a and c these are antioxidants and did you know that these nutrients help uh skin your skin can look uh healthier and uh and also uh, it says that the uh, vitamin e uh, can help your eyesight. Now, I was always kind of uh, had always heard that you know, you know, everybody I think heard you know, uh, carrots is the thing that you eat for your eyes, and and uh, you know that's 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 true. But I did not know had never associated bananas with uh, healthy eyesight. Um, so again, something that I that I learned. Um, just by reading this article, and, and, and by the way, you know, we live in we live in the age nowadays. Um, I I don't know how it works. I don't I can't explain it to you. But this thing called Google, you know, you, you can go there and you can Google, uh, for instance, uh, you know, benefits of bananas or or nutritional benefits of bananas, or nutritional benefits of avocados or, or just whatever. You can Google it, and so much information comes up. Um, you know, I I, I usually try to stick with, you know, um, sites that I'm a little bit familiar with, uh, the, uh, web MD, uh, you know, just that, those type of sites that, that, uh, you know, have a little bit of credibility. They've been around quite some time and, uh, usually are, are they're, they're founded off of, uh, studies and, and, you know, medical, uh, type, uh, information and, and whatnot. And, and you can usually, uh, trust those. So, um, like I said, it's just, you can find so much information on the internet now. And, uh, and, um, by the way, it's, uh, it's, uh, also, uh, where you can find, um, my book. Yeah. The simple, inexpensive and painless weight loss, uh, at mikesasser.com. And I have, uh, uh, bananas is on my list in one of the chapters as a superfood, but you know, I did not. Again, I did not realize that it had all of these benefits, all of these health benefits, uh, just from eating bananas. And um, uh, again, we just you know went through the the grocery store ads. A lot of times, you can find bananas uh, on sale, and um, it's just a it's just a good thing. I, I think it's like a win win type deal there. So uh, uh, you know that's that's about all that I've got on uh, bananas. But I tell you. Um, Let me tell you a little bit more about how to get in touch with us, uh, be a part of the show. I would love to hear from you, some of your feedback and uh, suggestions. Maybe, maybe you have an idea for an upcoming show and, you know, uh, uh, whether it be uh, something in the, in the health field, maybe we can get a guest in here and, uh, you know, talk about a topic that you're interested in. But uh, the way to get in contact with me, uh, the best way to get in contact, I guess, would be through the website is uh, MikeSasser.com. Uh, click on contact Mike, 
You can you can uh, uh, message me on Facebook. You can tweet me on Twitter, uh, or you can email me directly off of my website there. And uh, of course, uh, uh, irlongstar.com uh, is the website address for Longstar Community Radio here. And uh, we're uh, we're on the internet, and soon soon we'll be on FM coming at you you'll be able to drive around listen to us in your car and whatnot and uh that's pretty exciting pretty cool so uh, uh just uh you know get in touch with us let us know what you're interested in and uh we're gonna take a break and when we come back we're gonna finish up with the restaurant reports come on back Heaven's Army of Resources and Recreation Center is a 501c3 nonprofit organization featuring a 10,000 square foot building located at 19325 FM 1485 West, New Caney, Texas. At Heaven's Army, we offer over 26 different services free for all ages, from karate, dance, drug and alcohol classes, anger management, parenting, food and clothing pantries, to just name a few. We are supported solely by volunteers and private donations. Our main mission is to glorify God in all that we do. At Heaven's Army, we strive to be a hand up, not a hand out. Come check us out at 19325 FM 1485 West, New Caney, Texas, or call for more information at 281-689-5864. You may also learn more about Heaven's Army by visiting our website at heavensarmyofresources.com. Are you interested in learning more about preparing quick, healthy, and safe meals for your family? Would you like to spend time with others learning tips and tricks, along with practicing and tasting nutritious food? If so, the On the Road to Healthy Living Mobile Cooking School is for you. Call Amy Ressler at Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service at 936-539-7825 to find a class near you or volunteer to host a class. Lone Star Internet Radio is now bringing you the weekly business hour show each Monday morning at 11 a.m. My name is Rick Schistler and I will be your host. Each week, we will be bringing you local, area, and national business news that you can use. The program will also feature an interview with a local or national business person who will share their own experiences, successes, and failures in operating their businesses. Our show is for anyone who already owns a business, whether they work solo or have employees, and for those who are thinking about starting their own businesses. A bit of information about myself. Again, my name is Rick Schisler, and I am a Silver Fox Advisor who has over 40 years experience as a serial entrepreneur. As a part of our show, I will offer some advice and encouragement on our monthly topic, and I will take your questions by email at rschisler at silverfox.org or call into the station at 936-647-3776. See you on the radio Monday at 11 a.m. for the weekly business hour. Hour. This is Mike Sasser, your host, and I'd like to let you know one more time that uh, you can listen to us every Wednesday at 1 p.m. It's a live show coming at you, and we are located right here in downtown Conroe, Main Street, and we'd like to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, things that are happening in the community, uh, health-wise, uh, nutrition-wise, and uh, just keep you informed about uh, uh, just, you know, good health and, and overall well-being and uh, that's 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 my mission if you will i I put that on my website out there and uh, by the way my website is www.mikesasser.com you can get in touch with me i would love to hear from you Uh, tell me a little bit about what you think about the show maybe what you'd like to see on an upcoming show and and uh, just you know hey get be part of the show it's uh it's 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 easy to do you can contact me by email facebook uh, twitter it's all right there on my uh, on my website if you happen to be sitting by a phone, want to call in, that call in number is 936-647-3776. And uh, they come right into the studio and we can uh, we can see what uh, what you got on your mind out there. So, um, again, if you happen to miss the the live shows, you can always catch us on podcast. Uh, I, I put those on my website as well as uh, Longstore has it on the radio uh, website and that's www 
irlongstar.com. You can go down to the bottom of the page and you'll see archives or you can uh, you can click on that and uh, I think pick it out by the month or you can uh, also just uh, go to shows and find the health hour and uh, click on that and that'll take you to uh, the podcast and uh, check out all the other shows that are on on uh, uh, Long Star here. There's a big variety of shows and a lot of great information uh, about you know the local community here, uh, Montgomery County and uh, and surrounding areas. Uh, you know, and, and, and what's cool is uh, being that we are on uh, the internet. Uh, I've, I've had uh, some of my family and, and friends listen in uh, from Lu- you know Louisiana and and uh, think about it just about anywhere you have an internet connection uh, you, you could tune into to the radio show and and, uh, and listen to the podcast as well so uh, so that is really just cool stuff and um, getting into the the I can't believe the the hour just flies by here but I'm getting into the uh, the last segment and uh, I like to uh, do a, uh, a little report on the Montgomery County uh, health inspections, and this is for the 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 local um, local restaurants around here. And um, you know, first, I don't want to I don't want to I, I want to make sure that I'm 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 not you know uh, beating up these restaurants or anything like that. These are actual inspections that I receive each uh, usually each Friday. They come in uh, via email to me, and uh, these are inspections that that the Montgomery County health inspectors have done on the restaurants. Um, when you go to a restaurant, you could request this. If, if you don't see it posted on the wall or, or, or somewhere, uh, you can usually request their, their latest uh, inspection report, and uh, you can see this information you know, firsthand yourself. But um, anyway, I, 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 you know, each week or so, I like to go through and, and take a look at the restaurants that are doing well, and uh, and the ones that uh, maybe had a few issues while the while the in- inspector was out there, and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the ones that uh, need need a little help, and um, so looking at uh, this uh, report here on April 12th, the uh, Casa Im- Imperial on Sawdust Road. They had uh, unsanitary food contact surfaces as a cutting board needed to be replaced. And then coffee filters must be stored in covered containers. And ice scoop must be properly stored. Um, so had a few little little write-ups on them there. I'm sure they took care of that, I would imagine. Um, another restaurant, this is, this is a pretty popular restaurant. It's there off of... Uh, uh, actually, kind of 1488. The actual address is uh, Egypt Lane and, and Magnolia. It's uh, Eden Cafe. Uh, I have been by there several times. Uh, basically, they have an un- unapproved, uh, uh, unapproved water source. Uh, two hand sink faucets were leaking, and uh, they also had failure to provide thermometers and water test strips. Uh, there's just so many things these restaurants have to do to keep uh, to keep us, the general public, healthy and uh, you know it's good that the inspectors are out there doing this um, it's, it's not a bad thing uh, it says uh, also they they were found to have a uh, they failed to provide uh, water test strips uh, okay I said that one and uh, unsanitary food contact services they said uh, cardboard used to separate creamer containers and um, let's see a bottle was open and uh, cups were observed on the food prep tables uh, you know, you can't have like any open, you know, cups or, or, or food where they're prepping, prepping food for, you know, for the, the customers and things like that. Um, so just, just a lot of stuff they have to keep up with. Um, so, okay, that's, uh, that was uh, uh, Eden Cafe and uh, uh, Frenchie's Chicken. Uh, this is also uh, on Sawdust. It's kind of down in the Woodlands area. They were inspected on April 11th. And uh, let's see what they have is uh, improper hand washing. It's a uh, uh, hand sink was uh, lacking soap and then insufficient hand washing facilities. It says a hand sink was uh, again lacking soap and then also failed to have a certified food manager on site. Uh, They have to have a certified food manager on site when they're open for business, um, which uh, I did not know until I started getting these reports and everything. 
So uh, one other one is uh, the Pure Healthy Eatery. They're on Research Forest Drive, and uh, they also had a problem with uh, uh, food contact surfaces, and they also said the air intake vents needed to be cleaned. Um, so that's just a few that needed needed a little help there. Uh, let me let me give a, a gold star out for the restaurants that uh, did have uh, spotless reports, if you will, and that is uh, Sapporo Cafe on uh, FM 2978 and also Godiva Chocolatier in the Woodlands there. So, hey, that's all we got for you today on the Health Hour. Um, Come back next week at uh, 1 o'clock on Wednesday and we'll do it all over again. Have a great week. Stay safe, stay dry, and I hope this rain will be out here. Appreciate you listening.